Okay, welcome everyone to episode 6 of this mini-series I'm doing with a couple friends. They're not on right now, that's okay. Um, last episode, we made these gardens. I'm really happy with them. I'm screwing some wheat here so I can have some variation in crops. Um, this episode, I'd like to focus on the back here and create the entrance. Um, have stairs kind of starting here. But first, I want to build my nether portal. Because if you don't remember last time, I got some obsidian from Vad. He gave them to me as a little bit of a present so I could build my own portal because I don't have diamond tools because I suck. So what I want to do is kind of build it in this area. I've cleared out the trees from last time and built myself a little auto cooker, And kind of extend the sand over here and prepare a foundation. I'm going to have the same sort of foundation as this, but I want to get a little more artsy-fartsy with it. Maybe do some sculpting with glass. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to kind of wing it from here, but I'm looking forward to it. So I'll come back once I've finished what I've said I'm going to do. Well, I finished the base. I'm really happy with this. I've tried to go for a simple design so it doesn't detract from the portal. Uh, Vad's offered to come help me set it up, but I think he wants me to be in the nether, and that's going to be complicated. Yeah, let me sort that out, and oh yeah, I'm going to build some stairs here too, because right now I can't get up, and I might have to move this in the future, because I've built it awfully close, because I want to have some space in here, because of, in the end I want just a big path. Um, let's see. Overvolt. Spelt wrong as usual. Okay, so I'm going to get that sorted out. Probably place the portal with Vad. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll come back to you then, and I can start building. And we'll just have fun, you know? Placing blocks and doing random crap. Yeah, awesome. We have got the portal in. There's just one small problem. I didn't have enough obsidian. <laughs> So, what we're going to do is um, activate this one, break it in the nether, reactivate it in the nether, something like that. I'm not sure. Bad proposed something. We're going to figure it out. Don't worry. We'll get the two extra we need for the three wide portal because I built this with a one block center. Silly me. Although, I think it'll be best for the build. So, yeah. Once we've sorted out our shenanigans, I'll come back and we can start with the actual build. <laughs> Let's go. Our shenanigans have brought us to Vad's base and I have to say this is looking pretty nice. It's been a while since I've been here. I thought I'd give it a little showcase. So we're just getting some lava and to make obsidian. Um, his little plan didn't work. It's weird with servers. So yeah, yeah. Yes, I do love it. All right. Yeah, we're getting there. Don't worry. We'll be there in a bit. And folks, this is Sky Eagle's base. I'm just taking a shortcut through there so I can get to my base, which is just where that pink is. I just thought I'd also show it because it is also looking very well. I am loving it. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, I forgot those guys spawned. I forgot those guys existed. Oh, jeez. I better get out of here. This is great. Yeah. So now I'm just going to my base, and then I'm going to get coordinates for the portal, and we're going to sync them up, and then I can finally do my little abstract thing I wanted to be doing at the start of this, yeah. This is the moment of truth, folks. If this works, we're golden and I can start building. <laughs> Let's see if this pans out. Bye, Vad. Hopefully, it's in the spot he set for me. Oh, this is, looks promising. Yes, yes, okay, we have our own personal mini nether hub now. That is great, awesome. Now, one more test. Let's see if it takes us back, because if it doesn't, we're a little bit, hmm, a little bit in the bucket. Okay, okay, awesome. That works. Okay, well now I'm going to get my materials and ideas together, and I'm going to sketch out some things in a creative world, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, let's get to it. So, I've come to the creative test world, the same one we started out with in the first episode when I was brainstorming base ideas over there, you can see. And I've built the existing structure, the one we already have in our survival world currently. So what I'm planning on doing now is just playing around with this design, seeing if I can come up with anything. I think I only need this one base, but I'll build more if necessary, just if I don't like the current design, but I have something in mind, so I'm going to go play around with that, and I'll come back at intervals. Yeah, let's get started. I've now come up with a supporting structure for the portal that I think I'm really liking. Um, it does look awkward right now, I will admit. Don't worry, it will get better once we add the glass, which is the next step. So let me get to that. I'm going to brainstorm a few ideas and come back to you then. Awesome. 
Okay, I've had a go, but I don't like it. I think it looks like a popsicle and it's not exactly what I was going for. And I've kind of run dry on uh, as far as ideas go right now, so what I think I want to do is go back to the world um, and start another project while I let this sit in the background because I'm a little bit done with this. I know I have a short attention span, that's just the way I am, but right now let's move on. So we'll see you back on the server. So, back on the server, and as I spin around, you might notice a couple things. Um, one is that we have a new player. I've actually been gone for a couple weeks now. We took a break, things got in the way, right? Um, so, stuff has happened, moved along without me. And one of those other things is, um, Bad's given me a gift. A whole lot of food and wings. So now, I have wings. Isn't that great? I think it's great, because then I can fly around and look at this, instead of being stuck on the ground. Another thing is this box over here, which we'll go over in a second. But first, I want to talk about what I want to do to the base this episode. So let's put these wings in our special chest, which contains a lot of food. Food is special. Okay. And, um, yeah, let's get started on building this. So what I want to do right now is rip this out. I like it, but it just seems awkward as it is, and I want to make it feel like it fits with the overall build. Which right now, I don't think it does, just because of the shape is unique to itself. It doesn't appear in any other build except for the arches, but that's only one arch, whereas this would be two. So what I want to kind of do is do straight square pillars supporting a larger arch, maybe further to the top, right about where the cursor is here. And I still like this water, so I'm going to try to keep that, but just kind of make it a little more squared off like the base of the build so it has a better transition to the arches at the top. So let's get to that. I'll gather my materials and I'll tear this out and I'll come back to you when I have this foundation and a better idea a better idea of what I'm doing. Jeez, I can't speak. Well, I've gotten a little bit carried away. Big reveal. I've pretty much finished this wall. I'm really liking it. It's a lot better than what it was previously, and it fits sort of with the lower half of this build, which is what I was going for. And now, the only problem is, is to find out where the water is going out, which I was thinking of coming out of here, just so it kind of matches the doorway in the center, and I can make it flow better with the build instead of coming out from the center of the portal, because I didn't really think this through. The pillar. The portal. Ugh. I mean pillar. Pillar. Why did I say portal? My mind's still on the portal. Anyways, I was thinking of it coming out in here. It would be a little bit off-center, but I'm not too worried about it. Better than just coming out from the center of the pillar. And the big thing about this design is that it's repeatable. So I can do it on all four sides and make it look more like a complete build than just a bunch of random archways. So I'm going to finish up the tops of these walls, kind of cap it off, and then get water out and see how it looks and come back to you then. Awesome. Okay, I've finished this up, off to what I think is satisfactory, and you may notice there is no water coming out of these doorways. It's because I've decided to put the water down here. Up here it looked a little bit too awkward. There was too much water flowing and I couldn't make it look right, like it was being withheld enough in order not to overflow these gutters here. So I've done the same on both sides, and I've extended the top over. This is sort of what the shape of the eventual fortress will be. And what I want to do is just kind of make an adjoining ribbon so that the glass will join here, and then just extend this upward and build a house on top, because that's going to be cool. But that's for another time. Right now, now I want to focus on building some of the platforms for my other buildings, which would exist here and on the other side, I think. That's a good way to start since it sort of builds up the foundation and brings more inspiration rather than just finishing one build and having it all on its own. Of course, some people may disagree and that's fine, but this is just the way I feel like I would be most productive doing it. So let's get started kind of laying out, laying out a foundation and see where that takes us. First step for building something new is always to condition the land is what I usually do. Um, that might not be what you do, but that's okay. So I'm just kind of trying to make it a little bit more smooth work out. I think I'm going to build it on this level so it's one level above there just to give it a little bit of diversity so it's not all in the same plane. So I'm going to try to extend this kind of bar of sand up right about to the end but where I can taper it off into a beach, which is what I'm doing now. So yeah, I'll come back to you when I'm done that and then I'll start going around placing some foundation. Also, you can see these th uh, four dirt here. I'm thinking of having a staircase going up and I want it to be wide but not too wide as it is awkward. So, yeah, that is just another future plan. Probably not this episode, but maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, you know, how the ball rolls. So, I've cleared out this area, and I've made a little bit of an experiment. I'm not too happy with the height of it. I think I'm going to bring it up one block, so I'm going to do that right after I'm done recording this segment. 
but otherwise, I think the positioning is good. It looks awkward now, I know, because it's closer to the stairwell than this is, but it will match up nicely with that, and I'll probably fill this space with maybe a bunch of bins or something, or packages. I'll just make this sort of like a loading bay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll make sure we fill up everything, don't worry. So I'm just going to uh, bring this up higher, maybe finish it a little bit further around, add some shape, and then we'll go from there. This has all been raised up and completed, and I'm very happy with it. I'll worry about an entrance later, but for now, I think I'm going to try to do um, that side first, though. Let's take a look at this one. I haven't done it all the way around, because I kind of run out of land here, and I don't want to fill all of this in. I kind of like this little bay. So what I might do is taper it down here, and then bring it back out and have it enter there. And I might do another platform just on side separately and have a staircase in between them, just to spread it out so it isn't, like I said before, all on the same plane. Yeah, I really like this, and I think I'm going to build another one on top of it somewhere, but have some houses and, you know, more of like a industrial playground is kind of what I'm envisioning, what I'm envisioning this area to be. Pardon me. Um, so yeah, let's get started on this side. I'll lay out. Obviously, this side's going to be much smaller, but yeah, let's get started on that right away. I think I have this down to a science now, which is fun. It's great. Um, here I have the same issues over there. This space is obviously pretty open. I think I might just do some more crates or something. And you've noticed, you might have noticed that I haven't actually done anything to the terrain. I think it's fine here. I'm just going to keep it like that. I like how this is a little bit lower than that one, even though it's actually the same height. Although I'm going to make um, the antisite pillars one block higher just for some differentiation when we're looking at it in the big picture. So yeah, and I'm just going to connect it to that side of the hill. Um, also, while I was looking around, I noticed that if I had it four blocks wide, it would actually, um, if we were to continue that pattern, it would intersect with the antisite, I mean the granite, pillars, like this, if it were four blocks. So the fourth block would be here, obviously this would be moved back one. So, in order to make it match this side, I've had to make them both three, because I'm not rebuilding that bloody thing, because I'd have to move everything over by one block, and that's going to take me a while, and I'm not very patient. So yeah, this is now going to be a three block wide staircase, which I think isn't the end of the world. It's still going to look fine. It's just going to put a little bit of weird symmetry on because I've been trying to make things with a two block center in this entire area, but that's okay. So I'm going to finish up this, and then I'm going to come back to you with what my next plans are. I am extremely happy with this. Yeah, this really turned out well, and it, it's nice because it's a little bit higher than the nether portal plinth. Um, that's one of the things I was concerned about is that this would look awkward, but I think it's okay for now. I might change it up in the future, maybe I'll conjoin them later on, but for now it's done. And I have one more thing I'd like to do this episode, which is patch up this hole, which I can do really quick right now because I have a lot of sand. Well, I had a lot of sand, but I can just fix that right now and then have a little bit, a little special thing before we wrap it up. So we'll get to that as soon as I'm done patching this hole. With the hole patched, you can kind of see it over there, it is time for that special thing. I have an elytra in my hotbar, and you can probably see where this is going. Let's put that on. Um, if you remember, in the beginning of the season, we got these little starter boxes, and in the starter boxes are some fireworks. And you can see I've accidentally spammed one already. So I thought what I would do to end this episode is just fly around and see what my base looks like from the sky. You never know, right? Maybe go explore some others, although probably not, because I don't really have much time. But let's see. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Ready? Big reveal. Hey, I'm liking how that's looking. It's very gray, but you know what? That'll change with time, and that's okay. Anyways, gray is like industrial, and I like industrial. So, um, this episode we did the nether portal, we got it all set up, and we've set up the bases for what will be our industrial plaza of sorts. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing next episode, but I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm pretty, um, I'm reasonably certain that at some point we'll be doing a collaboration with Vadrian and the new player, which will be fun. But other than that, I don't really have many plans. I'll probably just putter around here, maybe finish these up. And I have run out of stone, so I'll probably go mining for that as well. But until then, um, I'm afraid it's time for me to go. So goodbye. I hope your day is wonderful. and See you next time.